Blessed and happy Friday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, my dear Kababayans, today is November 17, 2023, and today is Friday within the 32nd week in Ordinary Time, Year A. Our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of Luke, chapter 17, verses 26 to 37. The Gospel is telling us that the time of Noah and the time of law looks happening again. It's just like history repeats itself. Because the gospel states, those in the days of Noah was destroyed by the deluge. And those of the time of Lot, the city was destroyed by fire. Today, it's not fire nor deluge nor atomic bombs that will destroy us, but we will be destroyed because of our lack of the sense of God and the absence of love. We are destroyed by our immorality. We are destroyed by our own godlessness. We are destroyed by our disobedience and unfaithfulness to God. You know what, my dear friends? The people during the time of Noah were, you know, they were merrymaking, they were eating, they were drinking until the, the great flood came and killed all of them without repentance. And you know what? Dying without repentance is a horrible kind of death. And the people during the time of Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah, and Gomorrah were were busy engaging in immoralities, in sexual pleasures, and they died because of their sins, and all of them were destroyed by the fire. And you know what? I say it again, my dear friends, dying in a state of sin is a horrible kind of death. And what's the message of today's gospel? What can we learn from the gospel for today? We are reminded today, do not repeat the same mistakes again. Let us learn from the life of uh, the story of the life of Noah and Lot. Friends, life is short. Spend it by turning to the Lord. Because we are reminded today that life is not all about eating. Life is not all about drinking. Life is not about uh, marrying. It is not about buying and selling but it is all about following the law of the Lord. And you know what, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, whether we like it or not, time will come that some of us will be taken and some of us will be preserved. That's why before we leave, we, before we depart on, on this earth, do not neglect what is necessary. And our first reading for today, reminding me and you that let us not, or I mean, never be ignorant of God. Live in love. Desire God all the time. Long for God. Thirst for God. Because when you live in God, you are, already, you are, you are ready when the end will come. When you live in love, you will, pres I mean, you, you will preserve your love. When, when you live in love, you are not afraid to, to, to be detached to your properties, to your belongings. When you live in love, it will not be difficult for you to follow the law of the Lord. But dear friends, I say it again. Life is not all about eating. It's not all about drinking. It's not all about merrymaking. It's not about marrying. It's not about buying. It's not about selling. But life is all about following the law of the Lord. If you love and like this reflection, Kindly share it with your friends so that many will be blessed. Amen.